How's it going? It's Mask Man Reviews back again. How is how are all my fragrant friends doing? I hope everyone is doing well, and this uh, video finds you in good spirits. What we have here for you today is from the House of Mont Blanc, and this one is Explorer. Explorer was uh, launched, I believe, at the end of uh, 2019 or or um, towards the later part of 2019, and this was pretty much created uh, by Mont Blanc exclusively for Macy's. It was created for Macy's, but now it's kind of available, I would say most re retail shops or most uh, discount retail shops. Um, I had picked this up when it originally came out and um, I picked it up at actually Macy's. And just to kind of give you a little bit of a backstory, um, years ago, I used to go to Macy's um, looking for uh, Creed Aventus and I, I used to ask um, my my local Macy shop for Creed products and I, I basically was told that they don't carry Creed products and I kind of confirmed that because I've been to other Macy's and uh, Macy's uh, department stores and I noticed that none of the stores carry um, Creed products so I think this was kind of designed specifically to um, kind of fill that uh, Aventus gap that uh, quote unquote that Macy's has because they don't carry Creed products and a lot of people probably go to Macy's looking for um, uh, Creed Aventus so I believe that's why this one was created. This one was created by three different perfumers. I don't have the listing of, of the perfumers uh, handy but they're pretty um, uh, well known and they do have some uh, good perfumes behind their, their back. Um, more notably, the one that I know that has other perfumes kind of under his belt is Jordi Fernandez. He, he has uh, a couple of other perfumes, but the other perfumers that are listed do uh, have worked on uh, several other perfumes as well. Uh, so it's about three perfumers that kind of uh, worked on this uh, to, to create this for Mont Blanc, which is exclusively for Macy's. In regards to the presentation, beautiful bottle presentation. You have this thick, heavy glass. It's pretty much uh, almost an inch thick of, of glass from the base to, to where the perfume kind of resides. And then you have this nice uh, vinyl uh, wrapping around the bottle. You have this beautiful Mont Blanc uh, logo on the bottle. And then the cap is nice and heavy. Mont Blanc logo on the cap. Nice atomizer. And then um, on the on the on the actual bottle, you have Mont Blanc Explorer kind of engraved on it. Really nice. And then the Mont Blanc logo. At the bottom of the bottle, you have uh, the Mont Blanc symbol as well. So presentation, definitely a really nice bottle. Something that um, would look great on your stand. In regards to the notes. You have bergamot, pink pepper, and clary sage at the opening. At the heart, you have Haitian vetiver and leather. And then at the base, you have Ambroxan, uh, Kiglia wood, a Kiglia wood, um, Indonesian patchouli leaf, and cacao pod. So out of the notes listed, um, the cacao pod is probably the most faint out of all of them. It's probably not as detectable as, as the other notes. And what you get in the opening is a tart, citrusy um, version of Aventus. So it's not a very uh, fruity or pineapple version. It's a more um, tart version of Aventus. Uh, there are so many different batches of Aventus. I do not follow the batches. To be quite honest, I don't even, um, I only own one sample of Aventus. And everything else that I own is kind of like an, an Aventus inspired interpretation slash clone. This kind of ranks really uh, quite up there in regards to that space, that Aventus inspired space. I would say this is um, one of your top five picks. And as far as the designers are concerned, like major designers, this is probably my, my favorite out of any of the major designers in regards to Aventus clones. Um, so if you're looking for a, a, something that is inspired by Aventus, that's gonna last long, because this does last long. This is about an eight hour um, all day fragrance. This is gonna last on your skin all day. 
is gonna project for about two, two and a half hours or two hours or so. And then um, it does leave a pretty good scent trail. I wore this last year to a conference and it did uh, get quite a, quite a bit of a good reaction from it. So people really enjoyed it. Uh, the only thing is I kind of felt a little bit self-conscious because it was projecting really almost too good uh, where I was at. I was in a, in, a, in a conference, in a meeting room, and it was just uh, projecting really strong in the meeting room. Um, so for, for settings like that, you, you want to kind of be careful with the trigger, make sure you don't go um, too strong with the atomizations. I would say um, two to three atomizations would, would be good for an office setting. If you're going out, you could go happy. Again, the, the DNA for this is a crowd-pleasing DNA. People are gonna like it. You're gonna get compliments from it. Um, it's very similar to, like I said, Creed Aventus. Uh, but for me, in my collection, I have so many of these um, Aventus-inspired uh, clones or interpretations that this is almost uh, kind of redundant. If I were to stack it up, let's say against a Club in a Wee Intense Man, a CDNM, it does stack up, but you know, the seating them, in, I believe, is a bit stronger, while this is a little bit more uh, refined, in, in a sense. It, it's uh, a little bit cleaner. And I think the Ambroxan also gives it uh, an added touch. But to me, my personal taste, I like the seating them a little bit better than this, to be quite honest. Overall, this is a good scent, something that you should add to your collection. And uh, again, you would not get any negative feedback from this. This is just a good overall scent. All right, people, take care of yourselves. Peace and blessings. I'll talk to you soon. Later, I'm out.